Hey guys, uh, today is Sunday, uh, Palm Sunday, and uh, earlier today we had an amazing time with our, our church family on the live stream, and uh, one of the things that we got to talk about is just the significance of this week being Passover, um, leading up to Good Friday and, and the, you know, the death and resurrection of Jesus, and, uh, and one of the prophetic words that we shared that's gone forth is that this year is going to be really significant for observing Passover, um, that that this is uh, that this year is, is really going to be a true Passover, um, prophetically, and, and and I think it's significant because in this time that we're in right now, where a plague has overtaken uh, our nation and so many other nations, and many are confined to their homes, just like Israel, uh, thirty five hundred years ago, and uh, and just as uh, the the blood of the lamb was posted on on the doorpost and the plague passed over them. Uh, we're, we're just believing and sensing that we could be in a moment where as we remember the, the, the sacrifice and the blood of Jesus and, and as we uh, even plead the blood of Jesus over our families and our homes, that this could be a moment where the plague passes over us and this could be a shift. And so we got a really good question from, um, from a family who was watching and, and they were just asking, um, you know, how do we do communion in our homes? You know, how do we, uh, and, you know, I know we've done it at church, but how can we... Uh, facilitate communion just w within our families and our homes and so uh, me and Levi are, are here and we just wanted to kind of model um, how to do that together as a family um, and so one of, the, one of the first things that we do um, uh, so based off of 1st Corinthians 11 uh, verse 28 um, the first thing that I think is important is it says uh, in, in verse 28 um, a man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup uh, for anyone who drink, eats and drinks without recognizing the body of the Lord, uh, eat, and, eat and drinks judgment on himself. And, and so it's really important uh, before we begin um, just to confess our sins, you know, and, and just as a family. And, and, and so one of the things we do is we, we gather everyone around the table. Um, you know, we have, uh, we have our grape juice. Um, we've, got, we've got the bread, you know, or a uh, or cracker we'll do. And we, we just have it out before everyone. And one of the first things we do is we just, we just take time to confess our sins. And, and, we, and we do it uh, out loud together. Usually what we do is, is we start with the oldest or, or the, the dad and the husband. So I'll kind of start, uh, you know, with, with humbling myself first. And, and so we'll just, we'll just take some moments and, and say, you know, Lord, uh, forgive me for um, my pride. Forgive me for impatience, frustration. And so, so we'll just take a moment and then um, and, and we'll just uh, kind of go around confessing our sins, oldest to youngest, you know. And, and then after everyone's done, um, then, then we'll, we'll together pray and we'll say, Lord, we receive your forgiveness, we receive your righteousness right now. And, and we, so we just receive his, his forgiveness. And so that, that's the first thing that we do, just because we, we don't want to approach this lightly. We really, we really want to honor the sacrifice of Jesus and, and really... Um, in, in humility and the fear of the Lord, just make sure our, our, um, our consciences are clean. Um, and then the second thing that we do is then from there, we'll just read a, a short scripture on, on uh, what, what the body and uh, what the bread and the cup kind of symbolize. And so, um, you know, we'll read either Matthew 26 or we'll read uh, 1 Corinthians 11, um, 23. And, and uh, it just talks about how uh, when Jesus broke the bread, he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so we'll, we'll read that. And then, um, and then we'll explain, you know, the, uh, we'll, so we'll kind of take a bread and, and the bread will break off, you know, a piece of the bread. And so if you want to break off a piece. And so, we'll, you know, we'll read the verse and then we'll just explain that, you know, so this bread symbolizes uh, Jesus offering his body uh, as a sacrifice for our sins and, and that he... You know, he he, um, he gave himself so that we could be forgiven. And so as we take this, let's just remember uh, Jesus' body and sacrifice on the cross. And then, and then we'll wait, and then we'll all take it together. And then, you know, we'll just, we'll just take a moment and... You know, thank the Lord. And then we'll read the next scripture. In the same way, after supper, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty five, 
He took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And so we'll kind of take the cup together and we'll just say, you know, this, this symbolizes um, the blood of Jesus being poured out for us, you know, to, to forgive us of our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And, and just as the blood was, um, was um, you know, posted on the doorposts of every, every home, and, and just as death had to pass over, when Jesus shed his blood on the cross, then death had to pass over from us, and, and we, were, we were no longer uh, separated him, from him for all eternity. So as we drink this cup, let's just remember that Jesus' blood was shed for us to wash us clean of all of our sins, and because of that, uh, we can be washed white as snow. And so let, let's, let's take the, the cup together. And then, you know, from there, we'll just kind of have a family prayer time and we'll just thank the Lord again, you know. And so I guess maybe we can just pray together. And um, so, Lord, we, we thank you for your sacrifice. God, we thank you for uh, the body and the blood of Jesus. God, we thank you that you took us from death to life, Lord, that you forgave us of all of our sins, Lord, that when we were separated for all of eternity, Lord, you came and you, you gave your son uh, the spotless lamb uh, for us, God. And, and we pray that even as we remember this Passover, even as we remember, we remember all that you've done for us, God, we pray that that uh, not only would eternal death, Lord, but, but also uh, just even this plague that's upon our nation, would we ask that that would pass over us in this season and that you would wash our family and our home under the blood of Jesus, God. And, and we just remember all that you've done and we thank you, Lord, for, uh, for your death and resurrection. We thank you that we have victory because you rose from the dead, Lord. And, and thank you that you're teaching us as families um, how, to, how to host your presence and how to do communion together, Lord. And so we honor you, we worship you, and we thank you for, for who you are and what you've done, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.